Hey everyone, it's Susie here, and today we're playing Watcher of Realms. For today's video, we gotta talk summoning. Should you summon, or are there a lot of reasons to wait? Alright, so first of all, we do have a Shard Summon event going on, aka a fusion. Um, we don't need to summon for these, unless you're behind because you missed a bunch of stuff. The good thing is when it comes to these events, they don't force you to summon. You don't have to um, do the actual, you know, where is it? Why is it not even showing? Oh, is it just the arrival of heroes, I guess, this time around? Yeah. You don't have to do literally everything in this game. And if you do other stuff, you can literally skip every summoning event when it comes to getting the fusion. So don't worry about this in, in your decision to summon or not, unless you're behind in that's how you're going to get your fragments you need to get her. Okay, so we have a two times event and then we have a typical 15 times, which is Comet, who's incredible still, and a new hero, Beatrix. I did do a video reading through her kit and her lore and she's got a cool story and I like her vibe. I, I'm I'm a fan. I think she's going to be amazing with Anora, uh, especially if like Anora, Yamira and her. Oh my goodness, that's got to be a fun combo. So should you summon for her? because it's a new character and exciting, I would say it's an okay week to summon. Because we've seen what's coming next week. It's okay, but it ain't great. Um, <laughs> and then there is there is another game changer, which Comet is a game changer too. He's so good. So, so good for anywhere you need a mage still. It's not like he's been power crept. No, he's still amazing. Um, there's some stuff coming up where hot, it sounds like Hatsa might be in a couple weeks. So that's a consideration. If you if you don't have a Hatsa, but you do have a Comet, and maybe you don't pull on this banner, that's a couple weeks away. But as far as other game changers, I don't see much happening yet. Not for a while. And there's been obviously some talk about the next Limited or like the Sung Wukong coming. But that's more than likely Chinese New Year which is a long ways away. <laughs> so don't stress the like Sun Wukong hype yet, unless you're a very slow free-to-play player that get, doesn't get that many summons. It, it's not that hard to get the 200 diamonds and crystals with crystals and diamonds, I mean, or sorry, with, um, yeah, summoning crystals and with diamonds together. And selling your rares to get more. It's not too hard to get those events. And they just made it easier by only requiring 200 instead of 250. So if that's the case and that guy really is coming later, um, we'll be fine by then, I sure hope. Uh, <laughs> the game does give us plenty of opportunities to get stuff through events and the shops and everything as well. All right, so if you're a new player, I have to say, holy cow, this banner is amazing. Should you summon if you're a new player? Absolutely. Every day, every week. And if you're brand new, you should be summoning regardless of the event because you just need to get characters on your account. And I would absolutely say don't, I, don't do the two times basic spirits one. Absolutely go here and do the two times invocation of spirits with this banner because it's Baron and Maul. And if you don't have a healer yet, Lightlock. <laughs> And then Comet and Beatrix. This is a really cool banner. Really cool banner. Um, and Comet is still one of the best heroes in the game that everyone should want. Uh, and if you don't have him at all, you should be summoning for him. Why not? Unless you have beat uh, the, the, like, I don't know, the Gear Dungeons he's still really good for. Um, like Gear Dungeon 1. If you beat that without him... All the way to the end if you beat gear raid one stage 21 all the way to the end without him okay maybe you don't really need to summon for him but anywhere you need a magic damage aoe mage he's still a top tier option so i think this is a very easy yes you should summon if you don't have these characters answer um if you do have a pretty well maxed out comet but you don't have a hot set at all that might be the time to stop and not save now, what about the divine crystals, your legendary summoning crystals? I would say save those for two times events when it's like a two times and a 15 times. I wouldn't pull those on this type of stuff. 
because it's just such a low rate to be able to get it until they give us the update where they make the pity 20 instead of 50. If that's the case, it's not so bad, especially if you got some and you're waiting for your pity or you're close or you have a lot saved. Okay, fine. But personally, I'm still a fan of divine summonings wait until only used during two times events because that really does make a big difference in the rate versus two times on a spirit invocation. I swear I have better luck when it's just a normal event than I do the damn two times for those because it's only a 0.5% chance to a 1% chance. So yeah, I think it's pretty safe to say a really good banner this week. And next week doesn't sound that exciting. Two weeks sounds pretty good. Um, and there are obviously some other new heroes in the mix that are coming too, but it's not like it's that soon. I know people are really excited for Bezelbob. I don't know what date he's coming though, or if it's this month, next month, whenever. I don't know yet for that one. So you could decide to save some for him on hand just to make sure you can hit a pity. But go ahead and summon, especially if you don't have a comment. Or if you're a brand new player, this is just a gold mine of amazing epics. Maul and Baron. Maul is absolutely still worth being like a first six star on an account. So, so good. You get Maul and Eadrill and then Baron as your defender. <laughs> you're pretty golden for the start of your account. And this is just so good for everybody. I really like this banner, honestly, this week. I'm feeling good about it. I'm feeling really good. Personally, I really want to get Beatrix to play with... I don't know. I don't have Ymir, but I still look forward to actually purposefully building some summon teams around Nora one of these days. There's a lot of cool summoners in the game now, and they keep adding more. So there's a lot of good synergy to be had there for sure. But let me know what you guys think about Beatrix. Are you going to summon this weekend? Uh, I think it's a fun one. I'm not going to do a live stream this weekend. We're going to be very busy tomorrow. Family will be away, so we'll be watching Lily. So no live stream for this banner for me um, personally. Not yet. Maybe soon, though. I don't know. Maybe if I can change that and make that happen. I will let you guys know last minute. Always let me know in my Discord if you want me to do your summons for a live stream and yeah other than that i will see you in the next video